Glory to God. Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. This is Pastor Shegun Obaje. Today, God sent me to tell you that His Word is your inheritance. The Word of God is your inheritance. Amen. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20 and verse 32. The Word of God declares, it says, Paul speaking to the elders of the church at Ephesus. He said, now I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance amongst them that are sanctified. God's word is our inheritance. Not only is God's word our inheritance, God's word defines our inheritance. In other words, is the survey line that is cast upon our inheritance to tell us our portion of it. Glory to God. The Bible tells us in Psalm 16 and verse 5, it says, The lines have fallen unto me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. And then it says, The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. He maintains my lot. He maintains your lot. Your lot belongs to God. And God is your lot. That's amazing, isn't it? God has decided that your inheritance will be by his word, not by physical circumstances. Maybe your earthly father didn't leave you with an inheritance, naturally speaking. No landed property, no house, no education. But you see, your heavenly father has left you with more than enough to inherit. And so you have an inheritance in God. Glory to God. And that inheritance has been prepared for you ever before the world began. You can find where you belong in the word of God. You can take your place in God's word today because God's word has mapped out an inheritance for you. And that inheritance is all yours in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He says, the lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. What lines? The lines of God's word. The lines of divine survey had fallen onto me in pleasant places. He says, yea, I have a goodly heritage. You know, the lines that divide your portion of inheritance to you. You know, the Bible says, rightly dividing the word of truth. You see, through the ministry of the word of God, your inheritance is allocated to you. And that's why when you come to church, you open your heart to receive God's word because your pastor is doing more than speaking. Your pastor is actually allocating your inheritance to you. Through his lips, as he speaks God's word to you, you are receiving your inheritance for life and for godliness. Everything that God has earmarked to you and for you with your name on it is given to you through the spoken word. And so, beloved, settle down with the word of God today and receive all that God has prepared for you. Hallelujah. The word of God has been given to you to tell you what belongs to you. And what belongs to you was predetermined before the world began. Jesus came to release that inheritance to us. And as you receive the word of God today, your inheritance is allocated to you. Receive God's word with readiness. Go to church with that desire to be blessed. Go to church with the desire to receive the word of God. Church is a place of allocation of inheritances. It is given to you through the ministry of the word of God. Little wonder I said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you. So through the ministry of the word of God, your inheritance is given to you. And then you are built up and you rest and enjoy the inheritance that Jesus Christ has made ready for you. Amen. Praise God. So let your attitude to God's word change today. Receive God's word with seriousness. Receive God's word with hunger. And receive the fullness of what God has for you. I speak grace into your life today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are marvelously helped of God in Jesus' name. And your attitude to God's word is upgraded in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. God bless you. Mm -hmm.